In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this trending t-shirt design using Adobe Illustrator. And once you know how to do this style, you should probably apply it to lots of different niches as well, because it's one of the best selling t-shirt design styles this year. So inside of Illustrator, the first thing you want to want to do is select the type tool from your toolbar and just type out the sentence. It helps if you change the color to something that you can actually see. In my case, that'd be white. So the sentence for this design I'm going to use is Tommy Ache Survivor, a recently trending design, but obviously you could use whatever words you want in this. I'm going to align this to center along the paragraph options up here. And now I think it is time to change the font to one of those sort of groovy, bubbly retro fonts that a lot of people are using this year and doing really well with. And the one I would recommend is Abstract Groovy. Uh, this is a free to use one. It's free for commercial use and I will leave a link to the download page down below so you can use this as well in your designs. Next up, what you want to do is select the text, then head over to type create outlines and now we have this outlined into actual vector paths which makes it a lot easier to work with in terms of scaling up and coloring in so next step is holding down control shift and g on your keyboard to ungroup all of these letters i'm going to select the word ache and scale this up a bit because i want all of these words to be the same size so scale it up until you see these guidelines show up the pink guidelines right there to make sure they're the same width, the same size. And if you don't see those guidelines, you would have to head over to view and make sure that smart guides are enabled. I'm going to do the same thing for the word tummy. While holding down shift, just scale this box up until you see the smart guides telling you it is in line with the other text. Move this down a little bit so it's not too squished. Um, this could go up a tiny bit as well, there we go. And now I'm going to apply a color scheme to this and if you don't want to like use a pre-made one or you just don't have one ready, a quick way to create one um, that fits the sort of pastel-y uh, retro vibe is to just draw out a few rectangles. You can color them in with the preset colors up here Maybe we could use a purple, drag this down, uh, then we could use an orange as well. If, if you're not sure what sort of colors to use, it doesn't really matter that much. Maybe look, look at what other people are doing and we could use a sort of greeny blue and maybe a different shade of, of pink as well. And because these colors are quite strong and not very pastely, you can select them all in one go, then head over to the recolor artwork options up here and head to advanced options at the bottom. And now you can head over to the edit tab up here. Make sure that the color harmony is linked. So the symbol has to look like mine right here. And then you can just drag down this saturation slider. And there you go. You can see that the rectangles here have all faded in sort of strength of the color. If I hit OK right now, draw this over, this looks a lot more suitable for what we want to achieve. And now it's just all about sampling these colors with the eyedropper tool, which you can access by hitting I on your keyboard. We will start off with this, with this orange or yellow maybe. Just click on it, then hold down Alt and paste it onto the first letter. Now I'm going to use that purple for the U, and you essentially just want to alternate the colors for each letter. and. Uh, make sure that none of the colors are sort of close to one another or well, that's the the rule that i usually use so now i don't want to use yellow again um, or, or purple because they're both already here at the start so maybe we'll alternate it by using this green and then you could just carry on the sequence like up here so from green to pink from pink to yellow um, so what's next then pink <laughs> and uh, yellow and now we could do purple again so as you can see, I'm just trying to balance out the colors nicely and have them alternate between each letter. And there we go, that's created a somewhat balanced color scheme and uh, it does look really nice. So if, I mean, if you think this is still too strong, then you could still go back and head into the recolor options to advanced, edit, turn down the saturation. Uh, maybe that that is a bit better, but that's totally up to you. And now, to apply some effects to this. We want this to have the wavy effect in the design. So select all of these together, head over to object, envelope distort, and click make with warp. Uh, the first style will look very weird by default, but you just want to change this from arc 
to wave and then you can play around with the bend slider up here to get uh, different effects of your style and you just have to work out which one you think is sort of nicest. You have to find a balance between how strong the effect is and how readable the letters are because if you, if you turn this up too much no one's going to be able to read Survivor or Tommy very much so um, you have to tone, tone it down a bit maybe right about there and then hit OK and now I want to use a few flowers to decorate some of the gaps in this design. I'm going to use this Easter preset from Vexels, even though it's not Easter, but I just want some of these flowers right here. I think they look quite nice, so I'll drag them into my design. If you want this, I'll probably leave a link in the description if you want to see the pack for yourself. If you just drag it into your file, scale it down a bit, and you basically want to find a few spots where the flowers don't really distract from the words because the main thing is we want people to read this text if you place the flowers on like i don't know here then people will have a hard time reading the letter v so i try and tend to stick to sort of gaps um, within the letters and words where they're not the flowers are not really obstructing the, the view very much so there we go i think that looks quite nice and now i just want to add a few little highlights in form of sort of a star and for that i'm going to go down here use the rectangle tool to draw out a square change that to white for the fill color and then we can head over to effects distort and transform pucker and bloat and if we turn this down a bit right here to about 40 percent depending obviously on on your size of the box it might be different but you want to create this sort of star shape and uh, scale it down a bit and then we can just copy and paste this along your design to fill out some of the gaps and just just make it more balanced and nicer looking so maybe one over here and there we are that's our finished design a very nice and quick retro wavy text effect definitely save the color scheme and some of the decorative elements for the next time round, so that you don't have to start from scratch if you enjoyed this video and you use Adobe Illustrator on a regular basis then you should probably check out this video next where I share nine useful tools with you that you can use to improve your designs and to work faster with Illustrator